Hello everyone, my name is Yu Hyun Park. I'm the founder and CEO of DQ Institute. We are international think tank to set the global standard for the internet, especially digital empowerment, safety, and ethics. Wow, um, it was 10 years ago <laughs> in Korea. Uh, there was a, a horrible incident uh, in Korea. Eight years old girl was raped by a child fanatic. Um, 8 a.m. in the morning on her way to go to school. It was a, such a brutal, brutal incident and the whole Korea got upset and uh, I was not an exception. Um, at the time, I became a mom of two kids and uh, you can imagine you know, how furious every mom could be. And um, one day I saw in an online newspaper uh, the article about her and the um, near porn photo of 16 years old girls uh, with the title of Innocent Girls Inviting You to Her Bedroom. Um, I always anchor back to this moment when I first saw these two contrast messages in one major newspaper in Korea. Um, and that was a time I realized that this is not about just one child. It is not about one child porn addict. It is about us, about our child, um, and it is also a global issue. And uh, uh, fast forward, uh, 10 years later, we published a report this year, 2020, uh, Child Online Safety Index that um, look at the child safety levels around the world. We saw that 60% of eight to 12 years old children have experienced at least cyber one, at least one cyber risk, cyberbullying, gaming disorders, um, fake news, privacy, and all other uh, problems. So um, it indicates that uh, we need to work hard uh, to protect our children. At the same time, we need to empower our children to thrive in this uh, digital age. Yes, that's the starting point and that's how I started and that's what I'm working on it right now. Digital world is not a new world anymore. Uh, it is part of our life, especially after COVID-19. The whole global economy is moving to digital economy. We are rushed into the digital transformation. Um, and our research shows that the cyber risk issue is not just about children who have connectivity and a lot of device in global north we found that 30% more um, higher cyber risk exposure to uh, children in global south, and especially girls and underprivileged children. Um, it is not an issue of um, one child, one to, uh, uh, subgroup of children. This is, a, this is actually a global challenge that all of us have to uh, all of us are living it and all of us have to uh, figure it out. Yes. So while we are, um, I was working on the child safety um, issue, I realized that it is not a problem of the protection alone. It is actually the problem of empowerment of individuals, young children. So there will be the risk and there will be more risk <laughs> in this fast changing world. But more important question is how we can empower our children to thrive um, and overcome all these the difficulties and the risk. So uh, we started out this initiative called the DQ Every Child. So DQ stands for Digital Intelligence. Um, what we found is that cyber risk and the digital skills are not two different things. Um, and uh, um, our children are in the predicament stage. You know, in order for them to thrive in this the digitally, technologically oriented world, they need a digital skills. They need to be in the digital world. But at the same time, there's a, such a lack of protection in the digital world. How can we reconcile this the problem? So uh, what we try to do is that, why don't we make a global standard for digital skills that is comprehensive enough to empower children to become an independent thinker who can minimize the risk and maximize the potential in this digital world. So that's the starting point of DQ. 
Um, I'm happy to share that um, DQ this year has been recognized, not just recognized, um, approved by the IEEE Standard Associations as the world first global standard for digital literacy, digital skills, and digital readiness. And how we define digital intelligence is, is like a um, comprehensive set of the, uh, our capability to thrive in this digital age. So you can think of it like a math, right? So mathematics, there's uh, so many different branch of mathematics, right? There's a linear algebra, geometries, and all others. Uh, but no matter what, how advanced you are, you start from the one plus one. Just like, just like that, digital skills needs to also have this whole structure and um, the theme. And uh, what we say is the starting point is cyber risk, um, prevention and digital citizenship. So um, we define DQ as a new intelligence in this the fourth industrial revolution and more. Just like IQ was invented in after first and second industrial revolutions, and EQ was born around the third industrial revolutions. DQ is a new intelligence that's needed for the fourth industrial industrial revolution and more. Uh, so along the line, we believe that DQ is not like something optional. Um, it should be part of the mandatory education and training for today's children as well as the workforce and more. Um, one thing I want to introduce more is uh, our initiative um, on the DQ Every Child. Um, while we are working on this online child protection, we found that it is so important that every child in this planet needs to have, must have digital citizenship skills. So now, uh, Global South, most young and vibrant countries in this universe, young heroes are coming to the digital world. Our job is how we can empower every this young hero to become real giant and hero. So that's what we aim to do in DQ Every Child. So we ran uh, from 2017 to this year, together with the World Economic Forum, as well as Singtel and Ashoka and about 100 partners. So we went to around 80 countries and empowered more than a million children. And with that knowledge, our vision for the next 10 years is to enable literally now, not about millions of children, it's really about billions of children and everyone uh, to have access to high quality digital intelligence education and ensure they have the right protection from the dangers and risk. And also they have right tools to learn about how they can be thrive in this coming age. Yeah. Um, Related to the vision, uh, I want to talk about the, the future of technology and vision. I think, I think it is critically important uh, for us to remember technology is meaningful, only meaningful when it enhances humanity. And this current cyber pandemic we name, about 60% of children are at risk of cyber risk eight to 12 years old. That means um, our current digital ecosystem is not necessarily supportive of that statement that we made. So it is very important for uh, all of stakeholders, um, especially now with COVID situation, when this digital transformation is so much uh, became faster and real, um, all the technology blooms up. I think we have to remind ourselves what is purpose of technology and how we can ensure humanity is center uh, in technology development. And I think there is a big duty from the social and uh, civic sectors to play a role. So far, technology has been a big push for the, almost every nation. And <clears throat> it was occupied by um, industry players and a lot of startups, great research has been done, 
but civic sector has been not very active in this field. Um, it is because it is a new area and it has not been much of um, area that civic sector has been uh, put much of attention. But I think it is very important that in a civic society and social impact players and technologists and um, government, university have to be in the same table. And we have to really protect the citizen voice, freedom of speech, child online protections, and at the same time, the people's empowerment. It is so important. So um, with this opportunity of this summit, I'd like to encourage uh, the people who is coming to the social sector to think about this issue together, we solve this problem together. Thank you. So when we started the DQ um, in 10 years ago, our aim, 10 year goal was to set up the global standard for um, children's empowerment and protection. And with this DIEEE standard and the uh, um, OECD World Economic Forum uh, endorsement, through the uh, Coalition for Digital Intelligence. Uh, our 10 year goals was met. We are very thankful for all this partnership and um, the cost that we work together. And uh, um, we, we are very dedicated to work for next 10 years to build a social ecosystem um, that impact the business policy making and serve every teachers and children to ensure that every child, every individual can access to the quality digital literacy and digital skills education and training. So we are starting the new initiative called Power by DQ. So whoever who has a digital literacy or digital skills or digital readiness program, online child protection program, please work with us uh, through our global standard framework. We want to empower you so that you can effectively reach out to uh, your children, your citizens, your workers, and your seniors more effectively. And I really think we should work together. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Yu Hyun Park. I'm founder of DQ Institute. Um, why I started this journey I started this journey 10 years ago. Um, why? It was because I was a mom. Um, 10 years ago, there was a horrible incident in Korea. Eight years old girl was raped by a child phone addict at 8 a.m. on her way to go to school. It was a huge, disturbing, sensational uh, event, uh, not event, incident. Um, and at the time, I was following the news on the online newspaper. And one of major online newspaper, I saw her story and the 16 years girl porn advertisement on the same page. There was a time I realized that it is not about a one child. It is not about one child fanatic. It is a digital media issue a message that we are sending to our children. And it is about your, your problem, my problem, and every child's problem. That's how I started 10 years ago. And well, um, 10 years ago, not many people really care about the cyber risk issue. <laughs> so at the time, I actually made up my mind about the 10 years vision. We need to make global standard for child online safety that every nation, every industry, every parents have to take care of. Have to uh, have um, every, uh, okay, I will start again. Every nation, every industry have to take a heat on. Um, and we need three things at the time. Uh, I made in a diary. First, we need a global standard frameworks that every nation or industry can adopt. Number two, there should be child online program 
that teach about the basic digital skills. We call it digital citizenship skills that any child around the world can access to. Third things that we need is the global measure index that kept monitoring, that can, they can keep monitor uh, child online safety and digital empowerment of children. So that was the three goals that I had. Fast forward 2020, I'm happy to announce that DQ has been recognized as a global standard, world first global standard for digital literacy and digital skills by IEEE Standard Association endorsed by the Coalition for Digital Intelligence with OECD and World Economic Forum. Second, we have DQ Every Child that brings the digital citizenship education to all nations. And so far, we reach out the children across 80 countries, over a million children. Now, we are working with the various partners to go to billion. Third, we developed um, world first child online safety index that can help nations to understand their level of child online safety in a holistic level. And now we are working with the various partners, international organizations to make it into common measure for child online safety and digital citizenship. So that's where we are and we have a long way to go. And I want to invite every one of you to work together because this is not about one organizational issue. It's not about one person's issue or whoever issue. We have to work together and I want to invite all of you to collaboration. Thank you. Internet is a hundred mile tamitiana. I empathy like how to like must care about others to use computer safely.